you know, uh, I mentioned some of the reasons that we uh, do stewardship here in the Episcopal Church during my sermon, because we dwell within the kingdom of heaven. We have uh, Christina Pretty, who is going to share with us some of what St. John's means to her, and, uh, and a little bit about uh, why she feels that this is part of the kingdom of heaven. Christina, thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm going to try my best not to just stare at my screen and read. Um, so my name is Christina Pretty. Uh, my husband, Joel, and our daughter, Delilah, have been attending St. John's since May of 2021. Why St. John's? Well, the short answer is music and children's ministry, but let me elaborate a little. Um, when we walked through the doors of St. John's that Memorial Day weekend in 2021, we had not been attending church for over a year due to the pandemic and also my needing to recover from church burnout. This was the first time in my life I'd been away from church for that long, and I realized how much I missed worshiping and having that connection, that community with other people who love God. So we were feeling called to return to church, but we knew we wanted to make a fresh start somewhere with a music ministry that Joel could get involved in and a children's ministry for Delilah. For various reasons, Joel and I both knew a lot of people at St. John's before we ever walked in the doors here. And for two self-proclaimed introverts, that was huge for us. To add to the comfort of knowing people already, Jimmy Diaz had actually invited us to check out St. John's at one point, so Joel suggested we try it out. We did, and we immediately felt welcome here. I'm pretty sure Joel was back with his bass for music practice the very following Sunday, and we were relieved to find that Delilah was immediately welcomed into the church and the nursery and then VBS and Godly Play. Real talk. At our previous church, I was coming out of a long period of time of serving a lot. Think vestry, senior warden, rector search committee with a newborn, and I was burnt out. I made a promise to myself that I would wait at least a year before I got involved in anything because I desperately needed to sit in a pew and be a part of the community and love and be loved, but not to say yes to taking anything on. I have never felt any pressure to do more than I was ready to do, and for that, I'm very grateful. We found a home at St. John's just waiting for us to arrive, and Joel found a new outlet for worshiping and serving God through his music, and Delilah gets to go to godly play and has made friends whom she loves dearly, and I've been quietly soaking in the love and relationships, renewing my faith, and watching all that is done here, and the outreach that occurs, and the care for each other, and the love that pours out of the people here. God is present here. His love and grace are known. To wrap this back into stewardship, why do we give, it, give to St. John's? Because we want to support our church home and all that entails. We want to be a part of a community that loves and serves, and because we are thankful for our lives, our jobs, our faith in God, and all that God provides in our lives. We are blessed to attend a church that puts such an emphasis on outreach, on serving, on sharing our abundance, and being compassionate, and showing through how we treat each other and accept each other that we are all beloved children of God. We are grateful for the lessons we learn here, for the friendships, for the music that fills our souls, for the opportunity for Delilah to have other children to learn about Jesus with. And so to circle back to the beginning, our initial Why St. John's? Well, music and children's ministries, people we knew, but what keeps us coming back is not only that, but the community, the outreach in our lives, and faith being better and stronger for worshiping at and being a part of St. John's. Thank you.